Welcome to the Media Pro Show, the show that gives you quick, simple tips to grow your business by serving as an expert on your topic in the media. Learn how to get all the TV, radio, newspaper, magazine, online publication, interviews, and media appearances that you want, and learn how to be great in those interviews and media appearances. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media health and wellness expert. Today, we're gonna to talk about print and online publications. And by that, I mean newspaper, magazines, online websites, online publications. Now, maybe the reporter, the journalist, the writer reaches out to you. Maybe you pitch that reporter or journalist, or maybe you're responding to a query through a service like Haro, help a reporter out. Very often, the writer, the reporter, the journalist will ask if he or she can send you questions and you answer those questions and send them back by email. And honestly, there's a few reasons why this can be good for the journalist. You know, on one hand, if they're doing a phone call, they might have to record it or they're scribbling notes furiously trying to get all your, your thoughts and words down and, it, and they may lose a lot of information. They may want to avoid misquoting you, but now they'll actually have your answers in written form. So there's really no way to misquote you. And finally, let's be fair, honestly, it's probably easier for them. They can take your answers, copy and paste part of it, and drop it into their article as a quote. So it can be very convenient. If you respond to a query through a service like Haro, help a reporter out, very, very often, the journalist is going to specifically state, hey, here are the questions that I need answered with your query, with your response, answer these questions. And because so many people respond to those queries, because a lot of times they're big, big media outlets, if in your response you say, hey, let's set up time for a phone call, they'll just ignore you because they have so many other people that actually followed the instructions and sent the information, sent the answers by email. But responding by email and answering the questions by email can sometimes be good for you. First of all, the thing you have to remember is that for a lot of stories, the reporter, the journalist, the writer might be on a very tight deadline, and he or she may not have time to schedule a call at a time that's convenient for both of you. If you respond quickly, share good information by email, that writer will appreciate it and be more likely to use you in the future. But that's exactly why I would encourage you to at least try to schedule a call or find some way to connect with them personally, whether that's a phone call, a Zoom session, video session, or audio session, or some other medium where you can actually talk to the reporter. You could say, hey, I'm happy to answer questions by email, but it's a complicated topic. It might be easier to talk for five or 10 minutes by phone, and I can explain it in a way that might be a little easier to understand than I can by email, something like that. And a lot of times they'll be willing to do that. It's all about forming a personal connection. You know, if you can develop a connection, that's good for them and it's good for you. They get quality information, you get exposure. And in those calls, if they grow to like the information you share and they like how you talk, how you explain it, they grow to like you personally, they're going to be more likely to use you over and over. If you go to my media coverage page, go to drdavidgeyer.com, click the work with me tab in the upper right corner, you'll see media coverage. If you scroll down to some of the publications, even big publications, the Today Show site um, from NBC News, Washington Post, New York Post, you'll see multiple interviews with those outlets. And the reason why is exactly that. The first time I talked to the reporter, the journalist by phone and developed a connection. And then when they had another idea for a story, they run it by me. Hey, is this something you can answer? And I would get multiple interviews and that can be very valuable. You have to remember with any media strategy, your goal is not just to get one interview. You're trying to grow your business and get more customers and clients and patients. So you want to be seen in the media over and over again and developing that personal connection, that personal relationship with the reporter can help you get multiple interviews. In media pros, pros I told you in a few, a few episodes ago is an acronym, P-R-O-S. The R is for relationships and that's what our goal goal here is, is to help you develop relationships with reporters, writers, journalists to get interviewed over and over again. One of the things I do with the clients I work with one-on-one -on -one is that you and I figure out which newspapers, which magazines, trade journals, and online publications are best for you and your business. Look for some reporters and journalists at those publications who might be interested in your topic. Create a pitch that would potentially appeal to that reporter and then craft a message that positions you as the expert in your industry and in your town. 
Now, like I always say on this podcast, website, in my coaching specifically, this is not specific business advice. It's not medical advice, even though I'm a doctor, obviously. It's not financial or legal advice. If you have specific medical concerns, if you have specific business concerns, whatever it is, please talk to a specialist. But if you want to learn more about how to possibly get more media interviews to get more customers, clients, patients, potentially make more money and grow your business, potentially become the go-to expert in your industry, and hopefully people come up to you all over the place and say, hey, I saw you quoted in this article in our newspaper the other day. That's really cool. If you want any or all of that, I can help you become a media pro. Go to mediaproscoaching.com. Click and sign up for a free 30-minute strategy call with me, and we'll look at where you are in your business and what you're trying to achieve, and then outline some simple strategies you can put in place right away to start getting media interviews to hopefully help you achieve those business goals. While you're there, get your free copy of the Media Pros Interview Checklist, a simple handy reference of 20 to 30 tips, doesn't matter what type of medium, including newspaper, magazine, online publications, but simple things to remember so that you're great in that interview and you get asked back over and over and over again. All right, we're going to leave it at that. A short episode today. Have a great rest of your day. And as the legendary basketball coach John Wooden used to say, one of my favorite quotes of all time, Make each day your masterpiece.